Deep within the northern reaches of Colombia lies Cerrajon, an expanse of land dominated by one of the world's largest open-pit coal mines. Cerrajon is a place of immense industrial activity, where colossal machines carve into the earth, extracting the carbon-rich remnants of ancient life. But Cerrajon is more than just a coal mine, it is a place where the history of our planet is etched in stone, a treasure trove of fossils dating back millions of years. The coal that is mined at Cerrajon is a testament to a time when this region was a very different place. Imagine a world covered in lush rainforests, teeming with life unlike anything we see today. This was the world of the Paleocene Epoch, a time after the extinction of the dinosaurs when life on Earth was beginning to recover and diversify. The fossils of Cerrajon provide a unique window into this ancient world. They tell stories of giant turtles, colossal crocodiles and towering trees that stretch towards the sky. Among these incredible finds, one discovery stands out, a creature so large and so awe-inspiring that it captured the imagination of the world. This is the story of Titanoboa, the largest snake ever discovered. The discovery of Titanoboa was a serendipitous event, a testament to the power of curiosity and the unexpected turns that scientific exploration can take. It began not with a deliberate search for giant snakes, but with a routine expedition to collect fossilized plant matter from the Cerrajon mine. Paleontologists were drawn to Cerrajon by the promise of uncovering the secrets of a lost world. They hoped to find evidence of the plants and animals that inhabited this region during the Paleocene Epoch. As they carefully extracted fossils from the earth, they stumbled upon something extraordinary a series of unusually large vertebrae, unlike anything they had ever seen before. At first, the scientists were unsure what to make of these strange bones. They knew they belonged to a reptile, but their size was unlike anything they had encountered in the fossil record. As they unearthed more of the skeleton, the true nature of their discovery became terrifyingly clear. They had found the remains of a snake of colossal proportions. The discovery of Titanoboa sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The sheer size of the creature was almost unimaginable. But how did scientists go about determining the size of this extinct giant from a collection of fossilized bones? The answer lies in the science of comparative anatomy. By studying the skeletons of modern snakes and comparing them to the fossilized remains of Titanoboa, scientists were able to estimate the snake's length and weight. They focused on key bones, such as the vertebrae and ribs, which provide clues about the overall size and shape of the animal. Their calculations were astounding. Titanoboa, they determined, measured an astonishing 42 feet in length and weighed over 2,500 pounds. To put that into perspective, imagine a snake longer than a school bus and heavier than a car. It was a true giant, dwarfing even the largest snakes alive today. Titanoboa's immense size wasn't just a matter of curiosity. It had profound implications for our understanding of the ancient ecosystem it inhabited. A snake of this magnitude wouldn't have been content with small prey. It was an apex predator sitting at the very top of the food chain. Based on its size and the shape of its jaws, scientists believe that Titanoboa feasted on large vertebrates, including crocodiles, turtles, and even early mammals. Its powerful muscles and flexible jaws allowed it to constrict and consume prey much larger than itself. The presence of a predator like Titanoboa tells us that the ecosystem of ancient Kerijon was a place of abundance. It could only have supported such a large predator if there were enough prey animals to sustain it. This paints a picture of a lush and vibrant rainforest teeming with life. Section 5, a prehistoric greenhouse, the climate of ancient Kerijon. The existence of a snake as large as Titanoboa provides us with valuable clues about the climate of ancient Serajon. Snakes are cold-blooded creatures relying on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. The presence of such a large snake suggests that the climate of the Paleocene Epoch was significantly warmer than it is today. In fact, scientists estimate that average temperatures in this region may have been as high as 90 degrees Fahrenheit. This period of intense warmth, known as the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum, was driven by a massive release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. 
The exact cause of this release is still debated, but it led to a dramatic increase in global temperatures. The warm temperatures and high humidity of this period created the ideal conditions for reptiles like Titanoboa to thrive. Section 6, Giant Reptiles and Global Warming Drawing Parallels The discovery of Titanoboa in the fossil record has sparked a wave of interest in the relationship between climate change and the evolution of giant reptiles. The fact that such a massive snake existed during a period of intense global warming raises intriguing questions about the potential impacts of modern climate change on species evolution. Could rising temperatures lead to the emergence of larger reptiles in the future? It's a question that has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. While it's impossible to predict the future with certainty, studying the past can provide valuable insights. The story of Titana Boa serves as a reminder that climate change can have profound impacts on the evolution of life on Earth. As temperatures rise, ecosystems change, and species are forced to adapt or face extinction. The discovery of Titanoboa provides a glimpse into a past world shaped by a changing climate, a world that may hold valuable lessons for our own future. Section 7, Lessons from the Past, Titanoboa and the Future. The discovery of Titanoboa is more than just a fascinating glimpse into the past. It's a stark reminder of the power of climate change to shape life on Earth. The existence of this colossal serpent during a period of intense global warming offers a unique opportunity to study the interplay between climate and evolution by understanding the factors that allowed reptiles like Titanoboa to thrive millions of years ago we can gain valuable insights into the potential impacts of modern climate change on biodiversity. The study of ancient ecosystems like the one preserved in the Tserejon coal mine can inform our understanding of how species might adapt or fail to adapt to a rapidly changing world. Section 8. The search continues, unravelling the mysteries of Kerajon. The discovery of Titanoboa has only intensified the scientific fascination with the Serajon fossil site. Each new fossil unearthed from this remarkable location adds another piece to the puzzle, helping us paint a more complete picture of life in the Paleocene epoch. Paleontologists continue to explore the Kerajon mine, searching for more clues about the ancient ecosystem that Titanoboa ruled. They are finding evidence of new species of plants and animals, providing a more nuanced understanding of the web of life that existed in this region millions of years ago. The ongoing research at Kerejon is a testament to the enduring power of scientific curiosity and the importance of studying the past to understand the present and future of life on Earth. Section 9 Titanoboa in the public imagination, a cultural phenomenon. The discovery of Titanoboa captured not only the attention of the scientific community but also the imagination of the public, a snake of such colossal proportions, a creature straight out of a prehistoric nightmare, quickly became a media sensation. Museums around the world clamoured to display Titanoboa's impressive remains, and documentaries and television shows brought the story of this prehistoric giant to life for millions of viewers. The snake's massive size and fearsome appearance sparked countless conversations about the power of nature and the incredible diversity of life that has existed on our planet. Section 10. The Fragility of Ecosystems, a Reminder from the Past The story of Titanoboa, a creature that thrived in the hothouse world of the Paleocene epoch, serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of ecosystems in the face of rapid environmental change. Just as the climate shift that allowed Titanoboa to flourish eventually gave way to cooler temperatures leading to its extinction, the ecosystems we depend on today are vulnerable to the impacts of human-induced climate change. The lessons learned from the fossils of Tserejon underscore the importance of understanding the complex relationship between climate evolution and the delicate balance of life on Earth. Section 11 Conclusion, Titanoboa's Legacy and the Power of Discovery The discovery of Titanoboa, the colossal serpent of Tirajon, has fundamentally reshaped our understanding of life on Earth during the Paleocene epoch. Its massive size, estimated to be over 40 feet long and weighing over a tonne, 
is a testament to the power of evolution to produce creatures of astonishing scale and adaptation. More than just a fascinating fossil, Titanoboa provides a window into a past world dramatically different from our own. A world shaped by a warmer climate and inhabited by creatures both familiar and strange. Its story is a reminder of the interconnectedness of life, the power of scientific inquiry, and the importance of understanding our planet's past to navigate its future. As we continue to grapple with the challenges of a changing climate, the lessons learned from the fossils of Kerejon, from the reign of Titanoboa to the smallest traces of ancient plant life, serve as a call to action, urging us to protect the biodiversity and delicate balance of life that makes our planet so unique.